be afraid science fiction because I'm just about to prove that Tony Stark's armor is a bit more science than fiction. What's up, everybody? My name is The Void. Sorry for not uploading lately. Like, I mean, like, proper videos. Uh, it's only because I've been packing to go to Portugal. And when I get back, trust me, there will be a vlog, hopefully, if it doesn't delete, um, of us, obviously, of me, my family, at the airport, and then in Portugal. So what do we need to be Iron Man? Well, we're obviously going to need the ability to have an exosuit, uh, a helmet controlled by a Jarvis, maybe, an arc reactor, and obviously flight. So, a man has already created an exosuit, which is actually able to lift things that normally you can't lift without, run faster, and punch a lot harder, like, a lot harder. This one was only made for, like, the army and air force or whatever. I'm just gonna quickly show you like a, um, a quick clip of how it works and I love the way how the suit is soft and it hardens up when something hits it. Also I like the fact that it can heal blood wounds so so if you're shot and yeah just just take a look it's epic. Now this suit is mind blowing it's bulletproof which is pretty awesome and it also provides extra strength which is also cool and shows um, Iron Man but here's where the Jarvis part comes in it's a bit like Jarvis it monitors your heart rate, breathe rate, temperature rate and hydration level and it, the suit will actually do stuff when it notices these changes because of the it's also a light suit now here's the most epic part this is crazy it can turn from a liquid to a solid in less than a millisecond immediately and from explosion impact it can heal blood wounds. This is brilliant. Just with one injection, it can heal a blood wound. It also has the super strength, which is showing you here. This is crazy. And, oh my god, it's like Halo. It is It is really like Halo. It also provides night vision for, like, extra sight and communication, walkie talkie things. So here they are in, like, real life. The Wait, this isn't in real life. That was the test star. But here it is. There you go. That thing is beautiful. Now, you won't be able to live without a heart, obviously, with an arc reactor, considering you have to smash two hydrogen atoms into a helium atom, and that's just not gonna work. Even if you could do this, it's the size of a building. So the smallest version we have of this is the size of a van. So if you don't want that uh, shoved into your chest, then why not get a simpler version, which is actually tested on cows. This is the craziest bit. You can use special pumps that keep the blood going around the body without your heart. So they took the hearts out of certain cows and replaced it with these pumps. And they acted normally. Perfect. No changes in anything. Um, now, they actually tested this on a human. And it's had flatline. People thought he was dead. And it still said flatline. But he was alive. He woke up. And, you know, I'd be terrified to be him, to be honest, because imagine people not thinking you're alive, they do the heart rate, they see it's flatline, they bury you, and you're actually alive. But, you know, you get to live without a heart, so you can become Tony Stark. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just move on. Now, we're going to refer back to the super strength part. Um, a guy has also created this powerful, powerful, um, like, arm that can smash through cement um so that's pretty cool you can he's also created jets that you can hook onto your like back of your ankles and it would be able to lift you not fly like iron man but it can lift you a certain amount um they've also created and also the super strength is really good to be honest he can lift the a mini cooper it's it's crazy go check out his channel um also another guy is created for the helmet an automatic opening and closing helmet which is also quite cool so yeah we've dealt with most of the suit now so can we make one sort of let's look at some more evidence in the films tony is able to control his suit wherever he is with his mind if needed to and we can do this in the real world we can control robotic arms and robotic drones, robots, with our brain signals, which are converted into coding for whatever it is you're trying to control, and gives it the, the information of what movements to do. It's so cool, literally. So, 
we've got that part down. So now when it, so if you can create a whole suit to move at different times with whatever body part you want to move, it's awesome. You become Tony Stark's suit already done. And yeah, people have this all the time when they like lose a limb or don't even have a limb. Personally, I think it's safe to say that you can become Tony Stark with a bit of money. We've looked at from the paint to the exosuits to living without a heart. It's now safe to say you can become Iron Man. You just need a ton of money to do so. But this is cool. We just learned that you can become Iron Man. Maybe not exactly the same, but roughly some things. So Iron Man could now exist. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this style of video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.